Hey, how's it going guys? Dalton here with another video on the YouTube channel, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be solving the mystery of the witch's cabin in Red Dead Redemption 2. This is a mystery I've wanted to solve for a long time. So it's an abandoned witch's mystery shack in the middle of the woods, and it's just near Amberino, and it's just near the end. I'll show you guys that in a minute. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been here, but there's probably a few of you that have not visited the Mysterious Witch Cabin, and that is actually what it's called on the map. So the first time you actually come into this cabin, you'll notice that there's lots of ritual stuff. There's lots of candles. There's Everything's lit. There's mysterious liquid that we'll dive into in this video in a little bit. Um, it's actually a big pot of boiling water underneath a fire. Then you also have like pillow and you just have like everything like a witch's vibe and you also have like random things like hover bait and moonshine around here there's also some like bottles like you would do potions and stuff like that so that's the first thing you'll come across when actually visiting the witch's cabin for the first time there's lots of skulls bones there's also a chest that you can actually search for i think i found like some hair tonics and kentucky buron um, some alcohol and some miracle health tonics so that is what you'll actually find and just like dead skulls and dead blood carcasses and just like can that are lit it's, it's actually a really spooky cabin and the one thing I did notice is some of the pillows have like different designs on them too it's like pretty much it's like this old abandoned cabin made out of a tree so that's what I've noticed in here and then another thing I noticed like there's also ritual books like maybe some mysteries or spells so that's why I think there's actually a witch that owns this cabin and there's also something that you can find, and it's this raven bird that looks after the cabin. So if you guys notice, if you shoot around this raven bird, it will not move at all. Like, you can kill it, you can shoot it, you can actually kill it, but it doesn't return. But it doesn't really do anything. It literally just stays there. Like, you can shoot all around it. You guys can see what I was doing in the gameplay here and it literally stays there. So um, I think there's a little bit more to this mystery, and I believe that the raven is actually the witch that actually runs this cabin. And a lot of people have don't realize that ravens are actually one of the spirit animals that witches use or witch turns into if they use a spell. So you guys can clearly see we're by Amberino. We're underneath the N and Amberino, and you guys can see Witch's Cabin there in the Woodlands Forest. So you'll notice that there's some spooky things happening around here. You can actually kill the raven if you want. I actually did shoot the raven. I also studied it, but like you guys can see here, I can shoot around it, and it really does nothing unless you absolutely kill the raven, as what I did here, and then it disappears. Now, the only thing that I've noticed in this spooky cabin is I wonder how long you can linger until the witch actually turns into a witch well there's been reports on the red dead mystery subreddit that they did see the witch and there's also a human uh hermit woman that could be the witch too we've also solved that in previous videos i've done with my red dead redemption 2 videos a couple years ago um there's also like random witches that could be the hermit lady that lives north of Strawberry, which we'll cover that in a couple days for another video. But um, you guys can just about see as Arthur drinks the mysterious liquid. So Arthur can drink the mysterious liquid and then all of a sudden he passes out. Take a listen to this right now.
So I'm not sure how many have actually heard, so when Arthur drinks the mysterious liquid, he actually passes out only a few feet away from the cabin, which was actually really interesting. I'm like, how does Arthur, like, fall asleep, but only, like, just takes place, like, right after a few bits away from the cabin? Well, it looks like the witch has, like, this mysterious liquid, and it looks like it's not regular water. It's, like, something that makes you pass out. Now, what I did is I decided to do maybe what happens if I throw the raven in the mysterious liquid. Maybe I could combine the soup and maybe the witch would come out of its nest. But I didn't have any luck like throwing the raven over the pot. So I thought maybe this would be an experiment. But I couldn't get the raven to go in the pot, only nearby. So I wonder if Rockstar Games did not intend for anybody to actually try to throw the raven in the potty soup potion water or whatever you want to call it, mysterious liquid um so honestly and take a guess i believe that the mysterious liquid is more like poison so it makes arthur pass out so the witch must have put like some kind of potion to make you fall asleep and if you actually shoot it you can't do really much to that if you want to um but you guys can see i decided to light up some dynamite to see exactly what would happen if i kind of blew up the whole place just a whole bunch of candles just burst and you guys can see that there um pretty much that's it the mysterious liquid kind of just stays there lit under the fire now what i thought is like what happens if i come here at night would things change well, all of a sudden, when I decided to set a campfire, it automatically started storming and thundering really bad. I don't know if it's like a glitch. I don't know if it's something that happens at this witch cabin. I've seen a lot of players actually return at night and really nothing happened. They just had normal weather. So I don't know if I was just getting lucky and I just got a thunderstorm. Who really knows? But you guys can see it looks a lot more cooler and more spookier. So there is a lot of things that happen and a lot of spooky things have been happening ever since you entered this mysterious witch cabin so you guys can just about see here it looks a lot better at night because all the candles are lit you can see all the lights you can see all the potions you can also see the fire burning which looks really cool i think coming here at night is a lot more better but more spooky if you're playing the game on your own or if nobody's with you when you're playing the game it's a lot spookier I also wanted to find out, is there a way up to this witch's cabin? Like, can I get up on the roof of it and maybe find the witch dead up there? I actually had no luck doing that. So, if you do come to this mystery witch's cabin, be warned that there's mysterious liquid that can make you fall asleep. And you don't want no part of that. Like, nobody wants to fall asleep. But I always wondered, like... Who is the witch and who runs this town? Well, I believe the witch is the raven. So every time the raven kind of watches you and doesn't leave, I believe that's the witch guarding her guarding her little cabin here. And then all of a sudden when you kill the raven, she turns into her normal form of body. I mean, this is 1899. Things still weird can still happen. Like, it's not like 2024 where... You know, Arthur can't have witches or, you know, magical spells. This is 1899. Back then, they did have access to some of those things and some of those creepy ritual things. So, I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this mysterious witch cabin? Do you believe the raven is the witch? Do you believe the witch is one of the hermit ladies? You guys can let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys, and it just begs the mystery of where is the witch located, and is she watching us by other birds? Like, it just doesn't make sense, but you guys can, of course, let me know in the comments down below. Have you solved the mystery liquid uh, witch cabin mission? Have you ever been here? You guys can let me know how you guys think, your opinions, and more in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, that is all the information I got for you guys on this video today. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily awesome videos like this, such as Red Dead Redemption 2 videos, GTA 6, and Rockstar Games videos. That'll be doing on my channel. Subscribe for more of those. Subscribe for more of those. Stay happy, healthy, and well, and I'll see you guys all later on the next video.